It's going to be a busy few days at airports around the nation as people try to make it home and visit family members and friends for the holidays. Our Jacob Reynolds is at the Columbia Airport where he's been talking to travelers on the way into town and some of those headed back out. Jacob. Darcy, I talked to the Tim family earlier today who say this year more than most, they're just celebrating being together. It was a heartwarming poster that was waiting at Columbia's airport on Friday. All I want for Christmas is my soldier. Just got here from Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, uh, about halfway through basic training. Meet Zachary, Tim, and his mom, Ann. Her Christmas wish granted a homecoming for her son. I'm just so excited. I couldn't believe it. When he left, I was totally prepared not to hear from him or see him until uh, February. And so this was a, a great surprise for me. So I couldn't be more happy. And between the hugs and smiles, we asked Zachary how it felt to be home. It feels really good. It's kind of weird. You know, just got out of basic, so a little off, but it's going to be really cool. And there's one thing he can't wait to get his hands on this Christmas. Ah, cookies. <laughs> but that's not the best part of their story. Anne has three boys in the military, and this year her wish came true threefold. Yes, we'll have all the boys home, so getting them together will be very special this year. A Christmas full of cookies and hugs for homecoming soldiers. Now Zachary will be home for two weeks before he has to go back to Missouri to finish basic training. And I know Darcy, JR, all of us at WLTX are wishing all the military members and their families home or abroad a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays this season. Live at the airport, Jacob Reynolds, News 19, WLTX. Jacob, thank you so much.